Hey guys, so we've got some more updates for Godzilla King of the Monsters, and this one pleases both the G-Fan in me as well as the fan of the Alien franchise. As many of you know, my YouTube channel, Sci-Fi Explained, focuses on both the Godzilla and Alien film universes. So I was really excited to see the two film franchises compared to each other, at least in reference to the first two films from each film franchise. Although for Godzilla, we'll be talking about Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla King of the Monsters as the first two films, leaving out Kong Skull Island. So why are we talking about the Alien franchise, an R-rated horror series, and comparing it to Legendary's Godzilla universe? Well, ComicBook.com recently met up with Mike Doherty, the director for the upcoming Godzilla King of the Monsters. During said interview, Doherty referenced the first Godzilla film from Gareth Edwards, comparing the two Godzilla films to the first two films of the Alien franchise, Ridley Scott's Alien and James Cameron's Aliens. Doherty was quoted as saying, I hesitate to say it, but I would call it the Aliens to Gareth's Alien. So it's a bit more of an ensemble thing. Whereas the first movie was really about Ford Brody's character kind of weaving his way through that adventure, and Monarch was kind of the backdrop for that. Here, Monarch is the focus. Well, if we look at the two Alien films, it's pretty obvious that Ridley Scott's Alien having only the one Xenomorph as it hunts down the Nostromo crew was a horror movie relying on suspense, whereas Aliens was much more of an action shoot 'em up sci-fi adventure. We can even see where in the Alien films, the company, Weyland yutani became much more front and center during the second film. It looks like in this situation with the Godzilla franchise, Monarch is the company that we're gonna be focusing on for Godzilla King of the Monsters. The main difference being that Weyland yutani is pretty evil in most circumstances, whereas Doherty says Monarch is doing their mission for the betterment of mankind and Titans alike. Another big comparison for the two franchises has been the introduction of multiple monsters for the second film. Even though we saw Godzilla fight the Mutos in Godzilla 2014, Godzilla King of the Monsters promises to not only bring us Godzilla, but Ghidorah, Mothra, Rodan, two other non-Toho characters that we've seen in the trailer, and likely even more to be shown later. With James Cameron's Aliens, he tried to provide a background and somewhat of an origin as to where the aliens come from with the introduction of the Queen Alien. Godzilla King of the Monsters attempts to do somewhat the same thing by bringing us into Monarch's main facility along with many other containment sites in order to show us the origins and reasoning behind the Titans. Even as we learn more about Sigourney Weaver's character Ellen Ripley in the sequel, we've learned from Mike Doherty that we'll be seeing much more of the intelligent, emotional, and thinking sides of the Titans presented in the film. Even Ghidorah is said to have different attitudes and motivations for each singular head. All in all, of course I'm going to like any comparisons between these two franchises. They are my favorite film franchises of all time. But I think one thing that I hope to see is that Aliens was likely one of the most successful film sequels of all time. So let's hope that Godzilla King of the Monsters follows in Aliens footsteps and becomes one of the best Godzilla films ever made. What do you guys think about this comparison? I'm just excited to see this director enjoying the same films as I do. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments.